Welcome back to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. Today I am bringing you three bacon appetizers. These are so delicious. They're only five or less ingredients per appetizer. Y'all, there is a party going on in my house today, so I'm super excited. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when shows like these are posted. Grab your bacon, grab your five or less ingredients, and let's get started. Let's make some bacon crack. Now this is also known as bacon saltine cracker candy. A very delicious appetizer to use for the holidays, for get togethers, being at home watching TV, like the Super Bowl. <laughs> okay, it's four simple ingredients and we've got half a pound of some thick cut bacon here. And I just chopped these into small pieces. You're gonna need around two sleeves of saltine crackers and then you're going to need one and a quarter cup of brown sugar and one and a quarter cup of butter. The first step we're going to go ahead and fry up our bacon so I'm going to put my pan on to medium high. I'm going to go ahead now and just place my bacon into the pan. And then I'm just going to crisp it up. While the bacon is cooking, we're going to go ahead and prepare our baking pan. You want one that has a lip on it. This is about a 10 by 15 size. So what I'm going to do is take some cooking spray and just lightly spray it. I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper and settle it in. Make sure that all the sides are totally covered. Go up into the corners, just like that. Now I'm going to take my crackers, we're going to lay them single layer all the way up to the edges. All right, my bacon is done, so I've just got a plate with some paper towels on it, and I'm just going to take out my bacon and let it drain on the plate here. Now that my bacon is done, what I'm gonna do is preheat my oven to 400 degrees, and then I'm going to place a medium skillet on my burner on medium high. In it, I'm going to put in my one and a quarter cups of butter and start melting that. All right, so my butter is almost melted. I'm gonna go ahead now and start adding my brown sugar. Remember this was one and a quarter cups. very carefully start mixing it together and then we're going to cook it for three minutes. Okay, it should start looking like it's kind of caramelizing right here. Really nice and getting very bubbly. Oh, that's looking really good. Exactly what we're looking for. All right, our three minutes is up. I'm going to go ahead now and turn off my burner. We're going to take this over to the crackers and start pouring this over them. Got to be fast with it, okay, because it will start seizing up on you and you want to do that on the crackers. I'm going to place this in my oven for five minutes. Okay, I have pulled it out of the oven, and now what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle on all of our bacon crumbles. Okay, we've allowed this to cool completely, so what I'm going to do now is take it out of the pan, and it should be solid like that. Remove my pan. I'm just going to place it on my cutting board right here. 
oh, oh, it's like bark. You know what that stuff is, right? But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna crack these into pieces. Small pieces, double pieces, whatever you want. Serve that up at Super Bowl, your party, a holiday, <laughs> a get together. Just put a movie in and make some of these. Oh my goodness, there you go. Let's make three ingredient bacon wrapped pineapple bites. What you're gonna need is one can of pineapple slices some bacon that I've just kind of cut in half, and then some barbecue sauce, whatever flavor that you like to have. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pineapple ring, we're gonna cut it into fours, take a piece of bacon that I've just cut in half, lay that down, We're gonna roll the bacon around the pineapple like that. We're gonna take a toothpick and just place it through it to hold it all together. Like that there. All right, what we're gonna do now is place these on a lined sheet pan. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to place this into our oven that's still cool, and then we're going to place it on 400 degrees for 25 minutes. So these will cook as the oven is heating up. All right, I've just pulled out my pineapple bacon bites out of the oven. Now what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of barbecue sauce and dab them on the bacon. These are gonna go back in my oven for 10 to 15 minutes until you get the desired crispness of your bacon. Okay, look how these look. Nice and golden. That bacon is going to be nice and crispy. Mmm. You know, it's going to be like candy. Let's go ahead and get started making bacon wrapped mini ranch peppers. So delicious, you guys. Five ingredients only. Okay, in just a medium bowl, I've got half a block of cream cheese, and I just left this to room temperature. To that, I'm going to add about half a cup of some sharp cheddar cheese. And then we're gonna add one package of ranch seasoning mix. This is one ounce. This is so easy to put together, guys. Sprinkle that all in. I'm just gonna use a fork to blend this all together. Okay, I'm gonna put this off to the side. I'm gonna bring my peppers over here. This is what the mini peppers are like. Now these are sweet peppers, they're not hot peppers, so use them, use them, use them. And they come in just, you know, these yellow, red, this one's kind of like a yellow orange. Okay, so take your pepper, cut it in half lengthwise. Now I'm just going to cut off the very tip, just like that. I'm just going to pop those seeds out. Some of that membrane, if you want that out of there, just like that.
So I've brought my cream cheese mixture over here and I'm just using a spoon. So take my pepper here. Just take a little bit of that cream cheese mixture. Spread it in there. Mmm, this is smelling so good. Can you imagine? It's like stuffing jalapeno poppers. All right, so I've got my bacon here. What I'm gonna do is cut it in half. Because we've gotta take into account the size of our peppers here. So I'm gonna take one pepper, one piece of bacon, and we're just gonna wrap it around the pepper. Just like that. All right, these are ready to go in the oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes until we get our bacon to reach the crispness that we desire. Okay, look at these. They might be the star of the show. Bacon wrapped sweet baby peppers with cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and the, the ranch seasoning packet as a flavoring. Oh my gosh. What was your favorite? The bacon crack, bacon wrapped barbecue pineapple, or the bacon wrapped ranch sweet peppers? I'm gonna tell you what my favorite was, and it is the bacon wrapped barbecue pineapple. It is like candy. Okay, comment down below. Don't forget my thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. I'll see you on my next episode.